is up, sexy beast, crazy rabbit here, and Timmy showing you guys the World War Thompson on around 50, so let's go ahead and get this shit started. So I've previously done this video, but I decided to redo it just because I kind of want it in a little bit better quality. Now I'm not going to go back and redo like all the World of War weapons. I'm probably just going to go back and redo all the weapons that actually did something on round 50 and just get a little bit better quality on those videos. So real quick, you're probably going to see me have like a lot of ammo and like 15 monkey bombs. Those are not hacks. Those are not mods. It's actually just console commands. It's literally in the game. And the only reason I did that was just because I wanted to record the PPSH and I didn't feel like hitting the box for it. So I just typed the command give all which gives me all the weapons and a lot of ammo for those weapons, hence why it gives me 15 monkey bombs. And I just did that so I wouldn't have to hit the box a million times and it also gave me the Thompson so I was like you know what I might as well record the Thompson while I'm at it. So when you upgrade the Thompson it's going to turn into the gibbs matic and it's going to carry 40 in the magazine and 250 in stock. Which really isn't a lot. I mean on early rounds I guess it could suffice but once you get up there you're going to notice that you're just running through ammo so so fast. But the Thompson on round 50 is a very, very good weapon. It's going to be able to kill pretty fucking quick. Now since it doesn't carry that much ammo, you're really not going to get that many kills, but it does help that it's a wall weapon. The thing that I just love about the Thompson is it's an SMG, so everything about it's fast. It's mobility, it's fire rate, it's reload speed, everything about this weapon is extremely fast, and that's just why I love it. I love to compare this weapon to the Vesper in Black Ops 3 because I feel like they're very, very similar. They both really don't carry that much ammo, they both have incredibly fast fire rates, and they both can kill really, really quick but they just don't carry really enough ammo to make a difference. Now you might be thinking, well the ammo isn't really that big of a deal because it's a wall weapon, you can always go back and get more ammo. Well ammo costs 4,500 and usually with the Thompson and all its ammo it has upgraded, you might barely make 4,500 points back to actually be able to go grab more ammo. So the Thompson might not make you enough points to keep buying ammo, so you might actually start losing points. So that's really the only problem I have with the Thompson. Other than that, it's a fantastic weapon and definitely one of my favorite weapons in Zombies. I wish this weapon was on like every map because I would totally get it. So I'm very curious to know, what do you guys think of the Thompson? So if you guys could, please give a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.